Hello friends, again I am here with new sets of interview questions and today we will discuss about SAP SD commonly asked interview questions. So first of all, if you are new member to our family and preparing for interview, so don't get delayed, just hit the subscribe button and let's walk the journey together from learning to get the opportunity. Now let's dive into our today's video. So first question is. What is SAP SD? SAP SD is one of the key component of SAP ERP system and is used to manage shipping, billing, selling and transportation zone for products and services in an organization. And next question is, what is the organizational structure in sales and distribution? SAP SD organization structure majorly consists of two steps. First is, Creation of organization elements in SAP system and second is to link each element as per requirement. On the top of organization structure in SD module, sales organization is at highest level and is responsible for distribution of goods and services. SAP recommends to keep number of sales organization and organizational structure to be minimum which helps in making reporting process easy and ideally it should have a single sales organization. Next question is what is the sales area, distribution channel and division in SAP sales and distribution. So distribution channel tells the medium by which products and services are distributed by an organization to its end users. Division is an organizational structure represent a product or service line in an organize, single organization. A sales area is known as entity which is required to process an order in a company. It is comprised of sales organization distribution channel and division. In SAP SD organizational structure, each sales organization is assigned to a company code. Distribution channel and divisions are assigned to sales organization and all comprised to make a sales area. Next question is, can you do delivery without shipping point? Is it possible to create invoices without delivery? So here's the answer is no. No shipping point is required to perform goods delivery. No invoice is not possible without delivery. Next question is, what is the use of partner function in SAP sales and distribution? Partner function allows you to identify which functions partner has to be performed in business process. Consider a simplest case where all the customer function are performed by partner customer as these are mandate functions, they has to be defined an obligatory function in SD system. Next question is, what are the different partner type function available in SAP SD? So, customer, vendor, personal, contact person and some common partner function as per these partner types. So, in customer, there is a partner function of sold to party, ship to party, bill to party and payer. In vendor, forwarding agent, in human resource, employee responsible and salesperson. In contact person is the contact person. So next question is, what are the different customer account group that you can create in SAP SD? So domestic customer, export customer and one time customer you can create in SAP SD. Next question is, what is a sales activity? What are the different sales activity that you perform in SD? All sales activities in SAP SD system can be divided into pre-sales and post-sales activities. Pre-sale activities are classified as activities which occurs before product in sold to customer and post-sales activities are those which occurs after product is sold. So, pre-sales activities are inquiry and quotation and post-sales activities are support and relationship management. Next question is, what is the structure of sales order in SAP SD? How can you create, edit or display an existing sales order? So, structure of sales order is an inquiry from a customer consists one or more items that contains the quantity of a material or service entered in the order. The quantity in a sales order is further divided into business lines and comprise of various subsets and delivering dates. 
Items in sales order are combined in a hierarchy and allows to differentiate between batches or to use combination of materials. All the valid conditions on the items are mentioned in item conditions. These conditions for an item can be derived via full condition and can be valid for entire sales order. You can divide an item to multiple billing plan deadlines and each tells the time when a fixed amount of the item is to be billed. VA02, the T code used for edit, or sale, uh, edit a sales order. VA03, it's a display a sales order and VA01 is for create a sales order. Next question is what are the different sales document and SAP system how to create a sales document. There are different types of sales document that can be defined in SAP system which is credit memo, debit memo, standard order, delivery returns etc. To define a sales document just enter a T code VOV8 or SPRO and then move to IMG and then sales and distribution and then move to sales and then sales document after that sales document header and then define sales document type. Next question is what is the use of copy control explain? Copy control is defined as a process in which important transactions in a sales document are copied from one document to other. It consists of routines which determines the system how the data is to be copied from source document to target document. A SAP system contains number of these routines and you can also create additional routines to meet the business requirements. To create a new routine, you can use an existing sales document as a reference. How to find and copy control in SAP system? These controls are created and configured under IMG and can be found at below menu path. So the menu path is first is SPRO, IMG, sales and distribution, sales and maintain copy control for sales order document. Next is SPRO, IMG, sales and distribution, shipping, specify copy control for deliveries. And next SPRO, IMG, sales and distribution, billing, billing documents, maintain copy control for billing. Next question is. What are the predefined condition type in SAP SD system? So, here are some predefined conditions which is PR00 for price, K004 for material discount, K005 for customer specific material discount, K007 for customer discount, K020 for price group discount, KF00 freight surcharge, UTX1 state tax, UTX2 country tax and UTX3 for city tax. Next question is how do you manage deliveries when customer is not satisfied with products and services? So free of charge delivery or subsequent delivery is made when customer is not satisfied with good product or goods or lesser quantity of good is delivered and company has to initiate a return as per customer request. In this delivery, customer is not charged for shipping of goods. Steps to be followed in case of return request is credit memo first. This is done when customer wants refund for the delivered goods. System creates credit memo sales document to customer with reference to sales order. Next, subsequent delivery. This includes free of charge delivery of dispute goods to, be, to the customer. This is required when incorrect quantity of goods is delivered to customer and creating a return request by T code VA01. Next question is when would you use SAP return order and SAP credit memo? SAP return order is carried out when customer returns any previously purchased products and requires a credit or money back. While credit memo is when the customer is created without returning any goods. What is meant by term consignment stock? What are the different activities under consignment stock in SAP SD? Consignment stock is generally the material that is available on the company's premises but does not add 
in this st stock it is only added when it is either marked as sold or sent to the production department consignment stock management includes four key activities in the system first creating a consignment fill up is a stock is filled up at warehouse and creating consignment issue when stock issued from warehouse creating a consignment pickup stock return to manufacturer displaying consignment return a stock return from customers next question is what is meant by outline agreement and its different types well an outline agreement is defined as a long term purchasing agreement done with the vendors in this agreement you will find general terms and conditions related to material that is usually supplied by the vendors outline agreements have two types that are involved in the sap sd course first is a scheduling agreement it is known as an external agreement comprising the details of services products and delivery dates next is the contract the contract usually exists between ordering parties and vendor over a specific period you will find two types of contracts mentioned as value contracts and quantity contracts if you are fresher the interview does not expect you will answer very complex questions rather you have to make your basics concept very strong secondly it really doesn't matter much if you could not answer few question but it matters that whatever you answer you must have answered with confidence so just feel confident during your interview thank you for watching this video if you like this video then please hit the like button and share this video with your friends also press the bell icon so you get notified for all the videos and subscribe our channel for more relevant video related to interview question and latest job updates